Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Chester F.A. Wall Memorial Gymnasium here in the heart of the Mountain View High School campus. I'm Paul Cunningham, flying solo tonight for tonight's game between the visiting Homestead Mustangs and the home team, a Mountain View Spartans. A good game expected here tonight. The Mountain View coming in with a league record of five and four. Homestead three and seven. We'll see how the tilt comes out here tonight. We'd like to let you know that this game is brought to you by KVT's All Sports presenting sponsors, the Palo Alto Medical Foundation, part of the Sutter Health Network. Choose your PAMP doctor today. And by Homestead Senior Care. Homestead provides the personalized in-home care your loved one needs. Homestead, to them, it's personal. As a busy mom of three kids, I find it extremely convenient to access My Health Online. My Health Online's messaging service allows me to keep in close contact with our doctor. Being able to email the doctor with questions gave us assurance that they do take an interest in the patients. That's why we've been with Penn for more than 10 years and keep adding members, the newest member. Ever since Dad died, taking care of Mom is overwhelming. I can't do it on my own. Sure, my mother needs me, but I just want to be a daughter again. Mom wants to stay in her home, but needs more help than ever. It just can't be me all the time. Struggling to care for an aging parent? You're not alone. Learn how Home Instead Senior Care can provide the personalized in-home care your loved one needs. Home Instead. To us, it's personal. Just about to get underway here at the Chester F.A. Walton Memorial Gymnasium. To jump it up for Mountain View will be number 42, Brian Kessner. And jumping it for Homestead is number 21, Nick Sugiarto. Nick Sugiarto and Brian Sugiarto in the game, 21 and 33 for Homestead. The brothers on the floor at the same time. Nick Wang, the ball for Mountain View. He's off to McAllister. Kadar, then back to McAllister. Sammy Kadar. Gives to Wang, Wang. He'll work it around, fits with the ball. Jumper on the way by Wang, no good. Rebounded by Nick Sugiardo. Whitford brings it up for Homestead. Troy Whitford with the ball. Justin Shiesta gives off to Brandon Sutton. They'll work it around. Sugiarto underneath, can't get it to go. Quickly rebounded by Corey Fitz, and here come the Spartans. Down low to Castor. Castor, nice spin move to the hoop. Brian Castor lays it up and in. So first blood drawn by Mountain View. 6.40 to go in the opening quarter. Cross court to Sugiarto. Three on the way is good by Brandon Sutton. He drains it. Wang will bring it up for Mountain View. Nice dish back, but off of the hand of Corey Fitz. Quickly down the floor comes Sugiarto. He can't get it to go. Rebounded underneath by Mountain View. Wang will bring it up. So Brian Sugiarto a little out of control on that drive down the floor and gives it right back to the Spartans. Corey Fitz gives off to Brian Castor. Castor with a spin move inside again. He's got four. And the Spartans have the lead. Triesta. Off the foot of Whitford. They'll work it around. Shiesta with it. Sutton. Shiesta looks to drive. Now dishes back Whitford. 
on the baseline, puts it up, can't get it to go, tipped to himself. Corey Fitz with a nice job. And Wang will bring it up, the Spartans will slow it down a little bit. Five minutes to go here in the first quarter. Kastner gives off to Wang. Down low to Kastner, Kastner up and in, he's got six. All six of the Spartan points. Troy Whitford brings it up. Off balance, fall away shot is good by Troy Whitford. Makes it a one point ball game. 4.25 to go in the quarter. Kadar, Gallister, Wang. McAllister up top, gets it to Kadar. Kadar looks to drive, gives it back to Kastner. Shot on the way is good. The three by Corey Fitz. Whitlock dishes back to Sugiarto. Nice cross court pass, three on the way is a no good by Sutton. It's rebounded underneath by Fitz and here come the Spartans. Wang will bring it up. Kadar, McAllister, they'll work it. They find Caster underneath, he drives inside, lays it up and in. Brian Caster has eight points here in the opening quarter. Three minutes to go in the quarter. Whitford with it. Sutton. Try to get it down low underneath and the pass goes through the hands of Sutton, hits the backboard and the Spartans come away with it. Wang with it, picks up the screen. Kasner, Kadar. Wang with the drive to the hoop, lays it up and in. Nick Wang's first points tonight. Makes it a 13 to five lead and a timeout will be called by Homestead. Take another look at that drive by Wang. He just comes in and finger rolls it up and in and into the hoop. Take a look at the standings in the Santa Clara, excuse me, the De Anza standings, the De Anza division of the SCVAL. Palo Alto still undefeated. Saratoga at seven to three. Mountain View tied with Milpitas at five and four, and then Los Gatos and Homestead, both with three wins each, and Cupertino yet to get off the schneid. 2.08 to go here in the first quarter, 13 to five, Mountain View. Sutton inbounded for Homestead as we are back underway. Troy Whitford will bring it up. For the Mustangs, they trail by eight here in the first quarter. They've yet to find any way to solve the problem of Brian Kastner. Nice shot there by Justin Shiesta, his first points of the night. Kadar. Well, working around, they get underneath to Kasner. This time they double team Kasner underneath, and the return pass to the outside is picked off by Sutton quickly up the floor. Comes Whitford, gets it back to Sutton. Shiesta, fall away jumper, no good. Tipped around and rebounded by Fitz. Nick Wang will bring it up the floor. Minute 12 to go here in the opening quarter. McAllister with it. Go, 
Fitz looks to drive baseline, lays it up and in. Corey Fitz, he's got five points. Under a minute to go here. Shyester with the ball. Give off to Steven Strawbridge. First time we've called his name tonight. Whitford to Shyesta. Shyesta goes up, lays it in over Kasner. Kastner, excuse me. McAllister gets it to Fitz. Kasner rolls to the hoop, lays it up and in. Brian Kasner has 10. Five seconds to go. Not a lot of time. Long three on the way is a no good by Justin Shiesta. And one quarter is in the books with Mountain View in the lead, 17 to nine. Hi, I'm Ricky Affler with Spartan Sports Camp. Brought to you by the Mountain View High School Athletic Department, Spartan Sports Camp offers multi-sport camps for kids in grades three through six, as well as sports-specific camps for grades six through nine. We give campers the opportunity to receive instruction from the Mountain View High School coaching staff and student athletes. Strength camps are also available throughout the summer. For registration info, visit our website at www.spartansportscamp.com. Sessions begin June 10th and run weekly through August 2nd. We look forward to seeing you this summer. Homestead basketball to start the second quarter here. Aditya ready with the ball. He's off to Whit Whitford. Whitford for a long three, can't get it to go. Rebounded by Fitz, quickly out to Wang. Wang has blocked a little bit, no whistle. Works against Sutton. And a turnover, a five second violation called against Mountain View and over to Homestead it goes. Sutton up top. Off ready to Shiesta. Shiesta spin move, jumper just inside the free throw line, gets a nice roll and gets it to go. Shiesta's got six points for Homestead. It's a six point Mountain View lead. Wang brings it up, bounce pass to McAllister. McAllister has an open look, gives off to Caster. McAllister will take this open look, can't get it to go. Wang fights for it, but Whitford comes down with it for Homestead. Into the corner, back out. Corner again, and back out to Whitford. Three attempt on the way is a no good by Reddy. Rebounded by Kastner. Wang brings it up. And a foul will be called against Brandon Sutton. And as Wang put on the afterburners to get past him, and all Sutton could do is grasp a jersey and some wind. Mountain View ball. Carl Wilson to inbound as he's entered the game for Mountain View. As has Kevin Ives. A lengthy break as the officials are having a discussion. While they're doing that, KBT Sports would like to thank Home Instead Senior Care for their continuing support of high school sports programming. Home Instead, to them, it's personal. And after a very lengthy discussion, it is Mountain View Ball. But I appreciate them giving us the opportunity to recognize our sponsors. Kasner up top. Gets it to Fitz, to Wang. Yeah. 
tipped off the hand of Wilson, but Wang is there to recover it. Hives, Wang back to Ives. Eight on the shot clock. Drive to the hoop, layup is good by Carl Wilson. As at the last second, the Spartans get a shot off and convert it. Whitford gets it to Shiesta. Nice pass underneath, short jumper on the way is no good by Ahmed. Wilson gives to Wang. Five minutes to go here in the first half. Kasner to Wilson. They get it down low to Kasner, up and in. Kasner has 12. Whitford gives off to Shiesta. Whitford looking to drive baseline, whips it back out to Sutton and around. Shiesta behind the back to Whitford. Whitford for three, no good. Rebounded underneath and a jump ball will be called. Possession arrow favors a mountain view. Let's take another look at that sequence. Three on the way, you'll see Strawbridge go up, but a nice job underneath by Carl Wilson to get in there and tie him up and get the jump ball call and get the basketball. Flying up top. Spartans working around the perimeter then Wilson drives in, loses his balance, but is able to get the ball out to a teammate, Wang with a whirly bird move goes in and lays it up. He's got four points. It's a 12 point Mountain View lead. Strawbridge with it. Shiesta for three, yes, a pretty shot by Justin Shiesta. He's got nine points for Homestead. A 23-14 Spartan lead. Nice save by the Spartans. Three on the way, way too hard, but Kasner's there, can't get it to go. Put back on the tip around by Fitz, can't get it to go. Kasner comes back inside. Two people travel with the ball and Somehow they give the travel to Kasner. Another look at it. And interesting turn of events here. You see Fitz fight from underneath and then Kasner will come in and make his presence known. And then he and Sugiarto go for a walk through the lane and they take the ball away from the Spartans. Work it around, Sutton has it. Hands up, hands up. Shiesta gets it back to Whitford. Whitford, jumper on the way, no good. Rebounded by Wang. <laughs> Wang brings it up. Callister, Kadar for a two, no good, and a foul underneath. They're going to call it against Brian Kasner on a push off. Shot of Sean Hook, the Homestead head coach. 
calling out instructions to his players. Whitford brings it up for Homestead. Under two minutes to go here in the first half. Sutton up top. Whitford, Sugi Arto, they'll work it around. Shiesta thinks about it, puts a jumper up. He's fouled and he'll go to the line. Justin Shiesta will go to the line to shoot two. Better look at it. As you'll see him come get the ball to Shiesta and then he'll come in and he'll lean in. And on the lean in, he drew the foul. Can't get the first. Minute and a half to go here in the first half and Mountain View has two team fouls, Homestead one. So to say they've let them play here tonight would be an understatement. Hits the second, makes it an eight point lead for Mountain View. Goddard gives underneath, nice pass to Kasner. He lays it up and in, he's got 14 points. Ball is tipped up in the air, stolen away by Mountain View Lang. Quickly up the floor behind the back. Gives it off to McAllister. McAllister to Kasner. Kadir has it. Kasner goes low. McAllister travels and over to Homestead it goes. Take another look at that last basket by Mountain View. And great job by Sammy Kadir just to dish it off to Kasner underneath. Whitford brings it up. Homestead content to run the shot clock down some. We approach halftime. Shyesta with it. Shyesta gives off to Whitford. Spin move, Whitford jumper from the free throw line, no good, rebounded by Kesner. 12 seconds to go here in the half. Wang pushes it up the floor. Stolen away by Sutton. Sutton to Shiesta. Shiesta will put it up and make it. Justin Shiesta with an off balance shot right before the buzzer. And he cans it. We are at halftime. Mountain View in the lead, 25 to 17. My parents are really slowing down. I feel bad I can't always be there for them. How do I choose between caring for my mother and caring for my own family? I've been looking into the options, but Dad doesn't want to leave his home. What do I do? Struggling to care for an aging parent? You're not alone. Learn how Home Instead Senior Care can provide the personalized in-home care your loved one needs. Home Instead. To us, it's personal. I was at a fire department training and I had these shooting pains when they just shot right up into my temples. I went to Palo Alto Medical to follow a doctor. He found a heart murmur. It turned out to be an aortic aneurysm, which would have killed me had he not caught it. I don't really like going to the doctor, but I, I truly like going and seeing the guy. He's a great doctor and he saved my life. It'll be Homestead basketball. They trail by eight, entering the third quarter here. Three on the way is a no good by Whitford, quickly out ahead. Kadar lays up, can't get it to go. Rebounded by Nick Sugiarto. Quickly up the floor come the Mustangs. Whitford thought about it, drives in, lays it up and in. 
Troy Whitford has four points. Alistair gives to Wang. Wang, nice move, takes the jumper, can't get it to go. Rebounded by Fitz. Fitz gets it back to Wang. Kadar up top. Kastner, double team. Loses a handle and turned over to the Mustangs. And they try to throw it back court and out of bounds it goes as Sugiarto tried to get it back. Another look at it. Sugiarto had stumbled and tripped over his own player, tried to get the ball back and put it right between two of his teammates out of bounds. It'll be Mountain View ball. Kasner with it, gives to Wang. They get a low to Kasner. Kasner, good hands, lays it up and in. He's got 16 points. He grabs a jersey every time, Rap. Why don't you watch it? Oh, nice block by Kasner against Shiesta. Wang brings it up. McAllister with it. Kadar takes a three, can't get it back. Iron Wang rebound. New shot clock, 5.45 to go in the third here. Fitz with the ball, drives into the lane. Nice pass underneath to McAllister, and John McAllister lays it up and in. Corey Fitz with an excellent pass. Sugiarto back up top. Sutton with the ball. It's a 10 point Mountain View lead. Sugiarto for three. Can't get it to go. And up and over the backboard it goes. It'll be Mountain View basketball. Better look at the last possession down the floor. The pass here by Fitz to McAllister, and a sweet pass it was. Under five minutes to go here in the third quarter. Kasner back to Fitz. McAllister looks to drive, stops on a dime, jumper is good. John McAllister has four points all here in the third quarter. Four and a half minutes to go in the third. Shiesta looks to drive, battles against Kazner, and Kazner will be called for the foul with the body. Justin Shiesta will go to the line to shoot two. Shiesta has 12 points to leave lead Homestead. Hits the second. It's an 11 point lead for Mountain View. Nick Wang will bring it up. Kadar gives off to Fitz. McAllister gets it to Kazner. Nice pass by Kazner to Kadir and Kadar lays it up and in on the short jumper. Kadar's first points of the night. Hey, 
Shiesta back out to Sugiarto. Whitford looks to drive in, takes a short jumper, has it blocked by Fitz. Fitz gets the ball. Wang behind the back, brings it up, gets it ahead to Kasner, lays it up, and it got caught halfway between a dunk and halfway between the layup. Couldn't get either, but got his own rebound, sent it back out to Wang. Wang hits the three. Wang has seven points. Three on the way, no good. Rebounded by Fitz. McAllister brings it up. He'll slow it down. Gives off to Fitz. Fitz will be called for the offensive foul. The shot at that last one down the floor. Do you see? Kazner had thought about which way he was going to go with it, but he zips it back out to Wang, who hit the three. Homestead basketball, a 16 point Mountain View lead. 2.55 to go here in the third quarter. And a timeout will be called by. The Homestead Mustangs. KMBT Sports presenting sponsor is the Palo Alto Medical Foundation, part of the Sutter Health Network. Choose your PAMP doctor today. 2.47 to go here in the third quarter, 36 to 20, Spartans. Homestead basketball as the Spartans break their huddle. We are back underway. Troy Whitford with the ball for Homestead. Tipped around and the Mustangs have it and a foul is gonna be called against Wang. <laughs> Substitutions, Colin Spence comes in for Homestead as does Tomer Kringle. Father Chris Kringle on vacation now. December is over. Spence with the ball, no look pass. Nice pass to Sutton. Sutton tries to get it back outside to Aditya Reddy, and out of bounds it goes. Mountain View ball, Wang will bring it up. Fitz with the ball. Fitz almost loses the handle. Kadar gets it. Spence tips it away, but Mountain View maintains control. Kasner with the ball. Gives off to Wang. Jumper on the way. In and out. No good. Rebounded by Sutton. Spence pushes it up for the Mustangs. Spence wheeling and dealing and then sends it back up top to Sutton, who will take a three. No good, tip it and over the back call is gonna be called against Matt Klein. And a Spartan is down. Let her look at it. See what happened there as Fitz gets pushed out of the way and then Fitz went down. I didn't really see Anything to it. Really must have gotten, looks like he got poked in the eye, perhaps. And Corey Fitz will come out of the game. He'll be replaced by Conan Zhu. Look at it from this angle, see if we can see exactly what. Seemed he was okay there. Looks like right there with the reach in. He might have gotten a finger in the eye. Never a good feeling to get a finger in the eye. Ask Larry Mower Curley and they'll tell you. Foul is gonna be called underneath. It'll be against Homestead. I always love the fans that come to the game and argue about every call. You get to sit here amongst the fans and 
hear their complaints and the anguish they go through on every call that should never go against them and should always go against the other team. Wang with the layup, nice job by Conan Zhu to get the pass back to Wang. Wang's got nine points. Kringle jumper is good. Tomer Kringle. Under a minute to go here in the third quarter. It's a 16 point Mountain View lead. McAllister. Oh, for a moment. They had Kadar open underneath, but Wang will take the jumper. Can't get it. Kazner with the putback is good. Kazner's got 18 points. It's a 40 to 22 lead. 15 seconds to go in the quarter. Spence gives off to Sutton. Sutton drives, nice move in the ball. He was fouled on the way to the hoop. And the ball is pinned between the rim and the backboard. So Brandon Sutton will go to the line to shoot two. Eleven seconds to go in the quarter. It's the first. Carl Wilson checks back in for Mountain View in place of Sammy Kadar. He hits the second. Wang will bring it up. Wang for three, no good. And that will end of the third quarter. Wang thought he might have been fouled. No whistle was forthcoming. Three quarters in the books, 40 to 24 Mountain View. Mountain View ball to start the fourth quarter. Carl Wilson to inbound it. Flying brings it up to McAllister. They'll work it. Put it low to Kasner. Kasner kicks it back out. Wilson for three. No good. Kasner with the rebound. Gives to Wang. Wang for three. Can't get it to go. Rebounded underneath by Reddy. Here come the Mustangs. Whitford gets it to Shiesta working against Kasner. Rebounded by Wang. Nice pass underneath and a layup no good by Wilson and a foul will be called on the reach in. You can do it, Carl. You can do it. Freddy dishes it off. Sutton, Siesta, jumper off the glass, no good, tipped and rebounded by McAllister. Officials definitely letting them play a little bit here, which is good, I like to see a game like that. Wang lays it up and in. He's got 11 points on the night. Siesta. Sutton comes in and tries to go around. Kasner, nothing doing. Shot blocked by the rim. Kasner comes away with it. Nice pass and Zhao unable to convert. 
Tipped away, Wilson comes away with it. Three on two, Wilson will slow it down. McAllister, he'll take a three and hit it. John McAllister, he's got seven points. A timeout will be called by Homestead. And this game is brought to you by Homestead Senior Care. Homestead, to them, it's personal. And the Palo Alto Medical Foundation. Choose your PAMP doctor today. 5.37 to go in the game with the replay right here of the three by McAllister. And that's a good way to go to break. 45-24, Mountain View. Shot of the rafters here at the Chester FA Wall Memorial Gymnasium. It's Homestead basketball, and they got some catching up to do. Fall away jumper by Whitford is no good. Wang with the rebound. Wang will bring it up. Oh, an errant pass that is recovered. And, oh! They got it on the wrong line, and another look at it and you'll see that he did not go back court they made the back court call and they're going to give the ball rightfully back to mountain view he did get the wrong line here on high school gymnasiums you got a lot of lines <laughs> on the court and it's pretty easy to lose track of which one is which Wang gives off Jumper by Wang is good. Nick Wang. Nine points here in the second half. 13 on the game. Shot is up and good by Sutton. Sutton has seven points for Homestead. Kasner up top. It's it to Wilson. Underneath to Kasner. Wang jumper in and out. Rebounded underneath by Shiesta. Whitford for three, no good. Kadar with the rebound. Four minutes to go here in the game. Kazer to Wang underneath. Wang thought about a pass and goes around two defenders. Can't get the layup, it gets a tip back in. Wang starting to pile up points. He's got 11 in the second half. Drive and a shot up by Kringle is good. A 21-point Mountain View lead with three minutes to go. I'm sure they'll be starting to go deep into the bench here pretty quickly. Kadar to Kasner. Shot is up and <laughs> the Mountain View cheering section had Kadar thinking that the time was running out because they were counting down. And there was plenty of time on the shot clock. There was 13 seconds left on the shot clock. But Mountain View having fun with the cheer without even watching the game. Odd cheering section they have here. Brian Kasner hits the jumper and a timeout called as there will be some wholesale substitutions by perhaps by Mountain View. Breaking the action, 2.38 to go in the game. 51 to 28, Spartans. We anticipated wholesale substitutions for both teams as they are clearing the benches. Whitford for three, hits it. Whitford has seven points. 
Up the floor comes Angus Pang. Pang loses a handle, gets it back. Tough defense by Homestead as there's a lot of contact and not a lot of whistles. Shot is good by Skylar Russert. Spence with it. Whitford for three, no good. Rebounded by Pang. Pang is fouled in the backcourt. And the crowd, very excited to see number 24 enter the game. Suvroth Penmecha, a crowd favorite. Mountain View ball, Angus Pang to inbound. Eric Moreland deep with him, and he'll bring it up and give back to Pang. Pang looks to drive, kicks it back out. Pang pushing the defender away, a lot of contact going on. Pang can't get the layup to go. Ozawa looks to drive and loses the handle, but he's fouled before he does. 1.35 to go in the game. Out of bounds play for Homestead. Spence to inbound. Jumper on the way is good by James Choi. His first points of the night. His name will be in the paper tomorrow. Pang brings it up. Pang whips it back out to the outside. Moreland for three, no good. Tipped around underneath, put back, no good. Tipped out. Homestead comes away with it. Payman Ahmed with it. Spence looks, has a tip from behind, and he's fouled. It is the sixth team foul, I believe. No, it is the seventh. They're in the bonus. So Colin Spence will go to the line to shoot one and one. 104 to go in the game. Spence in and out, can't get it to go. Rebounded underneath by Nikki Capani. Pang pushes it up the floor. Pang looks to drive again, loses the handle. Pang a little out of control. Spence will bring it up, almost loses the handle. A drive to the hoop by Ozawa. And they're gonna say he was fouled on the way in. Ozawa will go to the line to shoot two. Ryan Ozawa. Cannot get the first to go. Hits the second. Moreland with it. Pang up top, Pang looks to drive, dishes out. Shot on the way, no good by Capani. Spence, one-handed baseball pass ahead to Ozawa. They'll get it down low. And a travel will be called. against Homestead and Matt Klein. 18 seconds to go in the game. Pang loses a handle as he nonchalants the inbound pass, but the Spartans get it back. Pang has it again. He's gonna have to get it over the half court line. He does. Six seconds to go in the game. Pang in the corner to Moreland. Moreland will pass up the shot and they'll run the clock out and that will do it as the Mountain View Spartans come away with a very impressive victory over the Homestead Mustangs, 53 to 14 is your final score. We'd like to thank our producer director, Bobby Chastain. We'd like to also thank our camera crew, Renee Mendoza, Andrew Weiler, Isis Flag, 
And special thanks to Mountain View High School for allowing us to come out here and bring you this game tonight. If you'd like to view any game online or order a DVD copy, you can go to the website at kmvt15.org slash sports. For all of us here at KMVT, I'm Paul Cunningham. We'll see you next time.